Hey guys! So today I want to show you what I got for Christmas. Actually, I didn't really get that much. That's okay though because I'm an adult now. Christmas doesn't really exist for us. Um, but I'm going to show you kind of the stuff that I got after Christmas. And that's really the best time I think to go shopping is because everything's on sale. Um, if you wait like maybe a week after Christmas, everything's on sale. Um, even the New Year. So. I don't know, I want to show you guys what I got and all the really cool sales that I hit. And alright, let's start it off. So we do Secret Santa in my family and my sister-in-law, Tan. Um, she got my name, so she gave me a $40 gift card to uh, Victoria's Secret. And she gave me these really cool moccasin slippers because I've been complaining about how I don't have any slippers to go like around the house or like outside or anything like that. So she got me those plus $40 gift card. And I was thinking I was going to buy a bra or maybe just like some yoga stuff um, even though I don't really do yoga I like wearing the yoga pants um, but instead I bought a bunch of stuff because they had their semi-annual sale and everything was 75% off and it was amazing so um, I'm going to show you what I got and literally I spent like $40 I spent my whole gift card um, so I got Body by Victoria the uh, fragrance lotion and the body spray this was $6 this was $5 and to be honest, this was the best buy, I think, out of the whole purchase that I have, and I'm going to show you. Um, why? is because this stuff is normally $25 and $20. So $5, I mean, it was 75% off. Amazing. It smells really good. This scent actually reminds me of, like, a fresh out-of-the-shower scent, but then it still has, like, really florally scent, like, flower scent to it. So I don't know. I thought it was a really good buy. Got those two things. Victoria's Secret had their own little lotions, and these were a dollar each. Uh, they're normally four dollars, and they were seventy-five percent off, so obviously it's a dollar. And one is called Hello Darling and Simply Breathless, and they're just these little lotions. I always complain about how I don't have lotion with me all the time, and so these would be perfect for you know putting them in your purse and stuff like that. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, they're lip glosses. So <laughs> I actually already used this one and the cap. Can't find it already, um, but these were two fifty. I got a nude color, and this one is called um, Bear It All, and the other one is called I took the scent off. It's kind of like a red pinky color, and two fifty. I mean, honestly, you really can't beat that. They're normally nine dollars, so I thought it was a really good buy. Two fifty, so five dollars for both of these. And I got some really cute panties. Of course, they have panties on sale. You can never have enough panties. So I got the seamless, like, full butt one. I like these just to wear around the house. It's comfortable. They look kind of big. Um, they're just, I don't know. They look really cute, comfortable, seamless. I like the seamless panties. Um, I'm wearing a pair right now, and then these just cute little cotton panties. Um, they're about 4 to $5 each. And, yeah, I love Victoria's Secret panties. Uh, what else? Oh, and I got this face prime um, makeup primer and setting spray. This was actually six dollars, but it just has the setting spray, primer and setting spray. Um, I usually use the uh, MAC one, but I kind of wanted to try something new and see kind of what's the difference between because MAC was the first one I've ever bought, so um, I wanted to try something new, and I'm wearing it right now, so I mean, it's nice. We'll see how long it lasts. Another place uh, that I went to was Target, and Target has really good sale like a week and a half after Christmas. So I only got one thing, and I got, I bought these um, just studded rhinestone uh, flats, and they're really cute. They were only like $13. I'm kind of sad because they ran out of my size, so these are a little bit smaller which I'm afraid that they, I might have to take them back, but I'm, I don't want to because I really love them. They'd be cute with like really cute leggings, like a sweater. Um, you can wear them with tights and a skirt or something like that. So I really like these. $13, normally $25, I think. Yeah. Then I went to Ulta and I just grabbed two things that I really need. And these are something that I literally think that they last forever, but when you run out, you have to go get in. They're really cheap and expensive. So I got um, an eyebrow gel. If you guys don't you need to use this, you're lucky. But 
my hair is just so coarse and so I have to literally use like a gel to keep them in place. Um, and I really love these eyebrow pencils that have the little brushes with them to kind of brush your eyebrows a little bit. But I use like an ashy color. This one is just a blonde brown pencil. I've been using like a, um, eye sh a brown eyeshadow and it just makes them look really dusty. So I wanted to try something new and I was actually at Maker Studio and the makeup artist was telling me that the pencil works best. So I grabbed I grabbed an ashy brown pencil and I mean I love it if you guys look. I got these two things from Ulta and I got an Ulta gift card. I think for like 25 so I still have some left but I bought this stuff oh yeah and I think I mentioned this on my Twitter I went to Macy's and their M style lab was 75% off all jewelry and they had tons and really cute stuff too I'm gonna show you guys what I got I got this really cute necklace and it's kind of actually jumbled but if you look it has like a little um glass with a feather in it. This is like a, a locket. You can put a picture in, a little tooth, a stud, um, a spike. Let me see. It'd just be perfect for like layering. You want to wear over like, let's say, like a really nice sweater and the sweater's really busy. You want something just really stringy. I'd probably put something like this. Oh my god, this. This was like $3. Everything I spent was between $1.50 and $6 each piece. I got this really cute feather anklet. I don't know if you could see that. Feather anklet, so cute. These earrings, and they look actually kind of vintage, but I got them in red as well. And I think you guys will see them in my Valentine's Day looks next month. Super cute. What else did I get? Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys are really into that fad of like um, crosses and stuff like that, but I think it's cute. I like it. Um, so they have these little sets at M Style Lab. I paid six dollars for this whole set. There's cross earrings, um, a little cross with a little image of Jesus, and red. It's like like a red type of um, little string, and it kind of layers like that. So you kind of can work together. You can separate them. Um, I like buying a bunch of stuff in one pack just because you can just mix and match. So I got this. This was $6. I'm actually wearing the earrings right now. These are really cool. One's like a stud and one is a leaf or an arrowhead. And there's other ones. There's one with like a kind of like a gem triangle, a leaf, and all these little ones. There's like a shell, a little stud. Um, and you can mix and match. I thought that was really cute. Because sometimes we like to wear like an accent earring, and I don't know if you guys saw my video about accent earrings um, and do it yourself, but you can buy them too. This was $5, or no, this was $3 for this little set, and there's about five um, sets of earrings in it. So I thought that was cute. What else? Oh, yeah. This was $3, and it has the little cross earrings. I'm not necessarily sure if I'm going to wear the school ones. I don't, I'll probably give them to my nieces because um, they're into that kind of stuff. But another um, spike, like that. Cute. How much did I pay for this? I think I paid $6 for this. And there's three sets. Oh yeah. And this really cool ring. I don't know, it's like a four slot ring. Wait, does it go like this? Yeah. See, so if you look, it's like, um, there's like little, uh, what is it? It's like a gold rope that just goes straight across. I'm not too sure how I would be able to function, um, but I thought it was really unique and cute. Would be like a cute little accent piece to wear out with your girlfriends. This one was three dollars, or yeah, three or, or I think it was three dollars. Um, and then I bought another one with a bunch of heart earrings studs. So you know, for Valentine's Day, I saw them. Those were a dollar fifty. I mean, I couldn't believe the sale and I was actually talking to one of the associates and she said that they do it once a year and all their jewelry um, is 75% off which is pretty amazing considering they're like 10 to 50, 20 dollars each um, so yeah I think is that all I got I didn't really buy that much let me see what else is that all I bought 
Um, so for New Year's, I know I'm only 10 days in the year and I haven't decided on what I wanted to do for my New Year's resolution. Um, so I decided I was going to do three things. One would be a personal one and that one is to stop dwelling in the past. I feel like sometimes I dwell a lot on stuff that could have been, should have been, would have been and it's just not healthy. You have to look forward I feel like and if you want to be happy, you kind of have to let go of all the stuff that's pulling you down, which is, you know, just stuff that you regret in the ba in the past, you know, relationships that didn't work out. You just kind of have to let all that go. And that's going to be my first New Year's resolution. And I really hope, oops, I really hope that I follow through with it because if I do, it will really just make me a better person inside. Um, and how my daughter portrays me. If I feel like I'm dwelling on the past and it makes me angry, it kind of rubs off on my daughter and she can kind of sense my just vibe. And if it's a negative one, I just don't want it to be a negative one. So I really just want to stop dwelling in the past. Um, and it'll be better for the both of us, Livy and I. The second one is to stop beating myself up for things um, that I can't help. Um, Image-wise, I need to stop just dwelling on things I can't help image wise stop beating myself up for things I can't I can't control and usually it's you know oh god I look really fat right now oh my god you know this and this I'm just not feeling myself I'm bloated I you know just excuses and just really beating myself up so I'm done insulting myself <laughs> everybody should do this too I mean if you hear yourself being like oh I look fat just stop yourself. That that literally is what I've been trying to do and just stop insulting yourself. Just be happy with what you have and you will feel so much better once you are comfortable, you're co more confident about yourself. Once you just accept everything that you that God gave you, then I think we'll all be a lot happier. Um, so that's number two. Three is to you know, not just mentally be health healthy, but physically be healthy. And I remember I used to go to the gym like twice a day, and I don't really do that anymore. Maybe I'll run like once a week, but that's just not good enough for me. And I need to get out there more. And if I exercise more, I feel like I will be able to let things go. I'm just more happy. Those natural endorphins come out and I'll just be a little bit more happier and I won't dwell on the past. I won't dwell on myself and why I just, I feel like I look so bad. Um, so those are my three. So one is stop dwelling in the past. Two is stop insulting yourself and beating yourself up for things you can't control. And third is to just be healthier mentally and physically. So, you know, I'm going to try to do whatever I can. I'm not going to be like, I'm only going to eat organic. Like, I'm just going to try to just eat a little bit healthier than I am now. And that's something that I can be realistic about, about me, myself. Like, I can't make goals that I can't keep. I don't want to do that. So if I just try just a little bit to be a little bit more healthier, I think that would be awesome. Those are my three. What are your guys' um, New Year's resolutions? I know some people just don't make them because they don't want to even start something they can't finish um, but I think it's good if you make one it's just healthy in general just to even have one and try to do something try to change something for the better so I want to know what you um, you guys are trying to do um, fitness wise if you guys have any fitness routines that I can do at home I would love to know them if you have any channels just recommend a channel I like watching um, Tone It Up and Beck's Life um, they're just really motivating women and I love watching them. I think that's it. That's it for my haul and New Year's. And I hope you guys had a really good uh, holiday. Mine was good. You know, I spent a lot of time with family. I didn't upload for a week because I was literally trying to adjust um, seeing all my family and spending uh, Christmas with my boyfriend's family as well and just spending real like solid quality 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 time not you know playing on my phone trying to upload Instagram um, blog or anything like that it felt really nice to not do anything for one whole week so um, yeah I'm sorry that you guys that missed me for that week I don't know if you did or not but if you did I'm sorry and 
that's it. Not too much stuff. Oh wow, I don't care. Oh, my mom got me rollers for Christmas. Um, I have been, you know, playing around with them. I started doing like, not just starting them up top, but just doing the bottom. And I kind of like this look. I don't know, let me know if you guys like it. So I hope you guys look forward to seeing more lookbooks. My first lookbook is going to be up next week on Tuesday, and I'm really excited because now all my Tuesday uploads are going to be lookbooks. So I'm going to really just try to pretty much shove fashion down your throat, politely. And just tell me what you guys think of them. Um, give me suggestions. Actually, I really want you guys to be like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm going on a first date or like just scenarios, occasions that you guys want me to um, show you a few looks for that how I would style it. Then please let me know. Comment below. Request that. Request a style that you want me to style. Um, that's number one. Number two, let me know what your guys is. Uh, New Year's resolutions are and if you know of any new um, channels that I can watch that are for fitness um, and yeah that's it and have a good day those three and I will see you guys next time okay bye you guys